केशव वलसे फ्रॉम वालचन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर इन टुडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सिस्टम्स अप्रोच टू मैनेजमेंट एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन students are expected to understand what are the inputs and outputs for a managerial system or a management as a process you can say and uh, what is the concept of systems approach to management so this is what is expected at the end of the session if we consider uh in general how the system might look like then uh it refers basically to the set of interrelated functions what for basically to achieve the objectives how by having effective utilization of resources now with this particular statement uh we can again say like uh, essential why it is essential it's due to complexity of the firm and need of a digitization see today there is no way out for any organization than to adopt the digitization digital world is there as we all know and uh, no substitute for uh, digitization for any organization talking in general a uh, very basic uh, primitive schematics of uh, what is a system now uh, any system if we think of then very basic is it has to have some input and certain output as it is indicated here and in between the input and output some processing happens for example if we look into academic institutions then input is a uh, raw student like uh, who is a processed with the different uh, subjects being taught to him and output is a uh, a graduate student so for in engineering institutions if we talk then output is a graduate engineer so this is how four years we process the student by teaching different subjects conducting different practical sessions on variety of subjects so this is our input and output uh, it means and how uh, what do we do exactly in processing a uh, secondly uh same thing little uh, ahead of it if we talk uh for the management process the same schematic uh, if we extend then inputs we can take as a uh, different resources there are like uh, different types of resources we'll talk in the next slide but here in management process we can uh, take different resources as uh, input then uh, processing may be something like all different functions uh, that management people carry out uh, they have certain uh, functions and they execute it so the execution of those uh, functions is uh, nothing but the processing we can call as a matter of a system and uh, output is something in management you can say uh, what are the objectives the uh, management people are having so that is how uh input we can correlate with different resources processing in nothing but different functions and output we can associate with the objectives now at this point uh i expect you people to think of different inputs and outputs for any organization just now i gave the example of education institution uh you can think of any other uh, industry may be manufacturing or service and for that industry for that organization what might be the inputs what might be the outputs and what may stand as the processing just think of some examples now here again uh it refers to the set of interrelated functions there has to have interrelation of different functions to achieve the objectives that's the main thing again with optimum utilization of resources and 
it's essential we have seen this in the beginning essential due to the complexity of the forms and need of the dis digitization this we have discussed in the beginning now next to that every manager it is put up here on the left side of the screen to be very precise about what about basically decision making and the information flow nowadays in the digital world information flow has again a vital role so what is happening in the industry that you try to imagine basically decisions are being taken by the management and information is flowing from one place to other place one point to other point in organization then subsidiary systems means in a system again you can have different subsystems and uh, these subsystems you have to have ultimately while reaching to was the objectives with efficient and effective ways of doing work so this is what is happening i'm i'm trying to tell you what exactly might include in input output and uh, processing that is talking specifically here what might be resources what might mean in functions and what might be the part of objectives here in systems approach to the management now this particular figure would clear the things a little in a better way now here input we have said now the general systems approach that part of the figure is omitted here input processing and output now specifically here for management input means different resources what are these resources they are like man machine material money methods markets information legal aspects government rules regulations what not so many things as input as resources as resource inputs we can have in management now in processing we have management functions or managerial functions functions carried out by the managers what are those functions planning organizing staffing directing control motivation forecasting what not so many functions are being carried out by management people these all functions we have discussed in detail in earlier slides uh, like just to brief again planning means for example in manufacturing industry we need to have manpower planning and there uh, maybe even production planning we need to have uh, if we take automobile example for example say then how many models you have and each model in different time period say months if we take how many quantities you need is a very gross aspect of a plan at organization level which normally is called as a master production schedule same thing cut down at uh, shop floor level you can call a load chart which is again a type of a plan uh, wherein you talk about a particular job and its particular operation on a particular machine so at a very micro level you talk at that then organization you have a structure as a, uh, the basic framework for the execution of uh, managerial functions orders to be followed in sequence you need certain organization structures with uh, authorities and uh, responsibilities being uh, defined very clearly then staffing you know like uh, how many graduate engineer trainee you need as freshers like you know some industries recruit hundreds of people at as a fresh graduates or thousands also some industries recruit now these organizations need to really evaluate how many people really they need that's under staffing their training their appraisal reports so many things are there in staffing then directing controlling you plan something but are the things really going as per the plan or not that also one has to look into properly and uh, control function comes in now these are all functions being carried out is a part of managerial functions which is the middle part of a systems concept that is uh, processing so processing here it means these functions and uh, what are the output or the objectives or the end of it end results is you have some goods and or services so for manufacturing industries you can have goods and services for service industries you may not have goods but you can have only services so these are in all we have uh, the systems approach and again the systems may be closed loop systems wherein 
you can take a feedback from uh, the output and uh, connect it to the input side that is in reality uh, take the feedback on the outputs and uh, have the remedial actions right there if possible if not in upcoming your uh, tenure the planning period you can have the corrective actions here i refer uh, these five books and uh, beyond this you can refer internet also lots of things are available there also thank you everybody thank you